Ladies and gentlemen, after seven episodes, we are finally done with this introduction enrollment arc. Now, what do I see in the title? Nine schools competition part one. We gonna get a tournament arc, aren't we? Oh, oh, with the Crimson Prince. Oh, and everybody's gonna be looking down at Tatsuya for being like a course two weed. But oh my God, this isn't gonna be, this is gonna be a next level underdog story that every fucking school is gonna see. This is gonna be so good. Let's begin the reaction. Okay, we're doing ninjutsu shit again, right? Damn, Miyuki in a skin-tight suit. Some kind of target training? Miyuki doing, like, close combat melee, why? I thought she doesn't really need to do this shit, because, you know, absolute magic. Nurse? School nurse? Wait, wait? That is her. I recognize the size of her titties. <laughs> what? I... Well, oh, I... I thought the school nurse was just kind of put it. Anyways, nine schools competition. Competing in the Mirage Bad and Ice Pillar Break Turn. Oh, so it's... It's like specific, you know, it's like the Olympics or something. There's specific events. That's why she was doing the target training. Secret investigator for public safety. So she's not even a counselor. She is, but she isn't. What the fuck? She's so important all of a sudden. Sports? Magic soccer? Why are we all wearing like protective headgear? I guess because the ball would travel much faster. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, why is only someone even good at soccer, man? 9-2. Jesus. Yeah, He's just perfect. Wait, that's not Onisama. Wait, that was Onisama? No, that's a different dude. Who is this dude? Huh? Wait, 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 who is this dude? Yoshida. Oh, first name. Bases already? Ooh, ooh. But uh, just a bunch of homies, you know, being homies. Oh? Are you in love with your sister? Oh? It's getting hot in here. We're getting a little homosexual up in here. Oh? We're getting a threesome? Pen family? Oh. Childhood friends! What? What do you mean? It's just... Oh, it's just got an oversized shirt on. Oh, the, uh, the underneath. The Oh, Jesus Christ. Wonder what Leo thinks. Can't see Leo's face right now. Yeah, then what is it then, Erika? What is it, huh? Mizuki just awkwardly standing in the side. Bloomers. <laughs> Remember the bloomers from Heiko's DST? Leo is really attentively looking at it. What is it, Leo? Middle aged guys to earn pocket money. I mean, it can be used in that way. But, Leo, what the fuck have you been reading? I think Leo Erica is the ship, though. Here we go. Here we go. Nine schools competition. Nine different schools participating. It's a summer sports festival almost. I don't want a sports festival, though. I want a fucking one on one duel to the death between Tatsuya and all these other dudes. I swear to God, if Tatsuya gets put in these random support roles, please don't. Because Tatsuya is like good at the engineer kind of stuff, right? Because he doesn't do part he doesn't do practical skills. He's a support. So, fuck! What if Tatsuya can't compete? No! Gee, I wonder who could tune our CADs. <laughs> Everyone just looks at Tatsuya. <laughs> Stop fucking stalling and just ask Tatsuya already. Oh, Jesus, what the f Oh my god, that moan from President. Good, Tatsuya. Don't get relegated to the role. I need you to fucking win the tournament. No! No! Hey, Achia, no! Ah, I can't believe you guys are just realizing it now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want him to be just an engineer role. I need him to be on the fucking starting roster, bro. Prez! Come on! Well, maybe the fact that Tatsuya will, you know, modify all the CADs for all our athletes, right? Will be actually a really good thing. It'll help them compete and win really well. Right? Th this, this is actually really helpful for our school, but I don't give a fuck about everyone else's performance. I, I care about Miyuki's, but like, I want Tatsuya to be in there and win the entire fucking thing. Prez is so shrewd, immediately using Miyuki to get Tatsuya in it, bro. 
Prez is actually so smart. Oh, it's a special gun again. Silver horn. Remember that there was that famous engineer dude? I forgot his name. Atan is super into this. Something so hilarious about a lolly getting hyped up over guns. It's the same phenomenon of the lollies with like tanks or battleship, you know? It's the contrast between a small little girl and like fucking military grade weapons. Tara Silver! There he is again. Who is Tara Silver? What's Tara Silver be Tatsuya this entire time? Like, what if Tatsuya is Tara Silver? Because we're under the assumption there's just some super genius engineer around, but what if it's. What if he is Tara Silver? It's Onisama, isn't it? Chimonji, as always. Are you guys actually still looking down on Tatsuya? Like, how? This is crazy. I guess it wasn't reported that Onisama just saved the day last episode, huh? And Jimonji, of course. <laughs> I love that, bro. Yes, let them uh, let them witness what Onisama can do. Flex, win, or that. Whatever. Oh, Jimonji CAD. Subpar. Yo, shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down. Oh, oh with Prez. Kirihara! Oh shit, yo, he's still fucking showing up. I love this dude. How are we watching the same show? We went from hating him to loving him in the span of one episode. I I this is insane. Kirihara's redemption is insane. Uh, sure, I don't really know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Eh? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're going with the safe way. Wow, he's typing on the keyboard. Remember in like the first couple episodes? They're like, wow, he's typing on the keyboard. Look at Onisama, bro. <laughs> typing really fast. <laughs> Jimonji believes, bro. It probably is amazing, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of noobs that think typing on the keyboard is some boomer shit, but I guess this is actually the optimal way. Watch Kitty how to become like twice as strong as before. He's like, oh my god, I didn't know my CD could be this strong. The power. I wanted him to say like, the power flows through me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you NPC looking motherfucker! Oh! Jimonji, clap his ass! Let's go, Achan. Look at these NPC looking dudes! Uh huh, we typed on the keyboard really fast. 450 APM. But what? How is the end product pedestrian? The end product was amazing! Wait, is he. Wait, is he vouching for Onisama right now? This is the guy we clapped it for. Wait. Hanzo. Wait. Oh my god, they're all getting redemption arcs! Hanzo is getting a redemption arc! <laughs> oh my god, dude, all the dudes I shit on. <laughs> They're coming back to realize the hype of Onisama. All that's left is Morisaki now, bro. Yeah, Jimonji's always been a Onisama fan. Dude, he's not just a member, he will lead your fucking team. But it's like, I don't want him to be a supporting role. He needs to fucking win the tourney. Oh, what the fuck is this? Is he the friend? You know, uh, Erika's dad's friend? That's apparently our... What's, what's, what's the word? I forget. But he has some ties with the army. Tatsu is a special officer. Special officer. Just like how our, you know, school counselor is like a secret agent. Tatsu is also a special officer? What the fuck is the third eye? This is insane because this shitty fucking high school was doubting Tatsuya's ability to auto tune the, the tu like tune the CAD. But this is some high grade military special tech that Tatsuya, you know, has special responsibility over. If only those NPC motherfuckers understood. Hong Kong based crime syndicate. What? 
All right, I guess they're gonna okay. crash the tournament at some point. It's gonna kind of just disrupt the entire thing. But that's usually how tournament arcs work. <sighs> Look at Onisama typing on the keyboard again. What's she wearing right now? I see a skirt. What's she wearing? What's she, uh, that's a skirt. Holy shit, what's she wearing? Huh? Mirage bat costume. Wow, I love Mirage bat now. Amazing. <laughs> Zero hesitation. <laughs> Onisama! Oh, he's floating again. Yo, he's flying! He's flying! Yo, we're gonna see that. You've succeeded in sustained gravity control type flying spell. I... I'm not that surprised. But we were just talking about earlier in this episode how impossible flying was. Of course you are. Is he gonna use flying in the tournament? I want to see everyone realize that Onisama is flying and just lose their shit. Is this for Miyuki? Because Miyuki was kind of floating in the earlier scene when doing the training, right? Whoa. So the type of flying that I thought she was doing last episode was totally different. Is she gonna slowly float into Unisama's arms? This just reminds me of like a ballet outfit. It's because of the white stockings. Don't really know, but Onisama just figure shit out. It's kind of dangerous though, huh? If you lose control. All oh, right, into Onisama's arms. It looks like she's figure skating in air. Come on, give me more incest. Come on. Oh, no! Man, we're getting a tournament arc, but Onisama has to be relegated into the support role. Well, then again, everyone witnessing how good he is at optimizing the CDs. That's cool. And like him typing really fast on the keyboard. That's cool. But you know what I want. I want the fucking final moment to be the Crimson Prince. All the fucking nine school tournament people probably knows the Crimson Prince. Who can defeat him? Well, we got Onisama. Everyone looks down on Onisama. A mere support engineer is gonna defeat the Crimson Prince? And he fucking does it. That's what I want out of this tournament. But you also know that somehow shit's gonna get interrupted. Because as usual, every tournament arc somehow gets interrupted by some outside force in order to kind of make the results ambiguous. So if people don't kind of... That people don't really just run off with this tournament result as a final power ranking, right? Usually, that's what happens in Shonen tournaments, but we'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.